Hello everybody, today we're installing our GTA car kit in 2006 uh, Honda Pilot with navigation. If you don't have navigation, uh, the installation is different because you're going to be installing the kit uh, in this portion of the radio, but uh, when you have navigation your radio is lower down here. So uh, we're going to show you the procedure for the navigation uh, model. The kit will still work on non-navigation model Pilot. So the first step is to remove these two side panels and they come off pretty hard and you gotta use your fingers to kind of yank them out and uh, sometimes like it doesn't work so what we suggest you do is you start you open the armrest uh, up and uh, you remove this this piece it just comes off and then you have this uh, screw here so we're gonna remove this screw and it's gonna give, gonna give us some room to play with because once you remove the screw you can just lift this panel up and it uh, see what it did there once you lift it up it kind of pops this panel up moves it out of place and then you can remove it like that it's pretty hard there's three clips holding it so two go on the side and there's one in the bottom so once you do this thing with the screw kind of lifts it up and then you can have easier access to it otherwise you can also remove it without doing this step but it's pretty hard like it I can't do it so I don't think anybody else can do it and the only other way is to use some time some kind of a clip removal tool but you, you, there's a lot of chances you're gonna scratch the panels so this is an easier step I forgot to mention what tools you need uh, you'll need a Phillips screwdriver and uh, some kind of a clip removal tool you can also use a flathead screwdriver you don't need much tools uh, Phillips screwdriver is one of the most important things you'll need for this car and uh, so we're gonna do the same thing as you can see when I lift it up this panel pops up itself and then you can remove it make sure you remove it first to the side and then you lift it up just like that so now once you remove those two side panels you see the, the screws so there's two on each side and uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove them so we just removed the four screws and now this uh, panel is gonna come off and uh, what you can do is so basically you just pull it off and there's clips over there and uh, they let you, that's the only other two things holding it so you just pull it towards and it's gonna come off uh, so this is a good step to show you if you want to feed the cable down here in the middle you can drill a hole somewhere here and uh, feed the GTA car kit wires to there uh, but that's uh, we're not gonna do that we're gonna feed the cable to the glove box and we're gonna show you later how so the next step to do is to remove these four bolts they look like screws you can use a eight millimeter socket but uh, Phillips will work as well so the silver ones on each side and we're gonna go ahead and remove four of those so we just removed the four small bolts they look like this the silver ones once you remove the bottom ones the two bottom ones it's the radio is gonna do something like this and then you can just because it, it has to come out this way kind of tilt it down and let it out also I forgot to mention that if this bothers you that this panel is in the way you can just undo these uh, four connections I think yeah and uh, remove it out of the way but for me it doesn't really matter so we're gonna get to the back of this radio that's why I told you you need clip removal tool and this is the connection that we're gonna be using right here uh, this is for navigation that's where it gets the power for touchscreen so why, that's why we're going to be using a Y cable on this radio. If you have a pilot without navigation, you're not going to have this plugged in. 
but it's still a very similar procedure the plug was gonna look the same so we're just gonna press it down and remove it and uh, we'll show you the kit how it's how it is when it's pre-assembled just gonna rest the radio there and grab our kit which we already have pre-assembled so you have a module in the middle and then you have a Y cable uh, so this is on one side uh, this is where GTA Carcass plugs in on this side it's that cable that we just took out is gonna go and this whole thing just plugs into the back when you have when you don't have navigation you're just gonna you the port in the back is gonna be open and you're just gonna take this male end and put it in the back of the radio so just the only difference between navigation models is this Y cable and on the other side you have the output for the iPod, iPhone and also the auxiliary it also the two cables come in the kit we're just not going to be using the auxiliary on this installation and we're going to take the radio out again and uh, we're going to take that plug that we took out and we're going to plug it in just like that and then the Y cable we're gonna plug in into the back of the radio just like that make sure the connections are good we're also gonna include a PDF file on our page on how to remove the radio uh, that, that is without navigation it's also very simple to do so once we have the kit plugged in uh, we're gonna test it we're gonna make sure that it plays through all the speakers that uh, the iPod is charging and that everything works the way it's supposed to uh, we're not gonna assemble it just yet because we need to test it we suggest you do the same thing before you before you put everything back so we're gonna take the key and we're gonna put it to first position and uh, we'll start off from being in, the, really in FM mode to get to the our car kit mode uh, some cars even it's the same car sometimes you're gonna press the CD button tw twice or when you plug in the kit now the auxiliary button works so you're gonna press it there's two options there's the CD3 mode and the CD4 mode so CD3 mode is uh, for listening to the auxiliary cable and uh, the CD4 mode is for listening to the iPod, iPhone, YouTube uh, and uh, how it works basically when there's nothing plugged in it's just gonna say this 4 track 3 once we plug in our iPhone 4 it's fully capable of working with iPhone 4 you're gonna get this warning message but just dismiss it and uh, we're gonna start off by going to uh, disk this is kind of in a way we're gonna go to uh, disk one in disk one uh, basically you can control the iPod from uh, both the radio and the actual iPhone as you can see I'm switching songs from here I can also use the steering wheel controls as you can see I'm switching it with the steering wheel control so basically the car thinks it has an external CD changer the other cool feature that we have is that uh, once you go to second disc and up the iPod gets locked so you put it away and right now you're in the first playlist disc 3 is your second third fourth and we're gonna be in disc 6 so this is our fifth playlist and so in this mode you only control the the iPod through the radio uh, you can switch the songs from here and uh, that's pretty much uh, what it well, it supports up to 99 playlists so if you want to get the to get gain control back you just go back to disk one and it unlocks automatically so and it's also charging at the same time if you leave the if you leave the iPod plugged in or iPhone and you leave the car once you come back and turn it back on it's gonna start off from the same uh, place where you left off and uh, that's pretty much it you don't lose any functionality you're still gonna be using your six disc CD changer 
So everything is going to be the same way. You're just going to have an extra option to listen to your iPod or your iPhone. The, also, make sure your navigation works the same way. You're not going to lose any functionalities with that. And uh, the next step is to feed the cable. As I said earlier, you can feed it to the to this panel drilling a hole, or you can feed it to the glove box. This glove box has these stoppers here, which are, you can remove. They look like this. They just unclip. Same on this side. You just remove it, and once you remove it, the glove box drops, and now you can uh, easily feed the cable out to the glove box and then just putting the stoppers back and uh, that's pretty much it uh, i hope you liked the video this was a video for gta car kits and the 2006 honda pilot with navigation and uh, thanks for watching we'll see you next time